Welcome to the Cubby Channel. And whatever this show is called. I'm going to review something that I used to play a lot. And it's called... Mising Monsters. There's going to be a lot of stuff I have to uh, talk about, so this video is going to be quite long. Now let's start with the basics. My Singing Monsters. A game where you breed monsters that play a part in the song. There are five main islands. Plant Island, Cold Island, Air Island, Water Island, and Earth Island. I call these main islands because there's a lot of special islands that I will talk about one by one. So I'll start that now. Sugarbush Island. In Plant Island, there's a special monster called the Sugar Bush. When you level him up to level 15 by feeding him, you can teleport him to the Sugar Bush Island. You can teleport other monsters there, but only certain types. You can breed these with the Sugar Bush to make Sugar Bush. Related monsters. Ethereal Island. On each of the main islands, you can breed one type of ethereal monster. If you level them up to level 15, you can teleport them to this island. You can breed them to make more ethereal monsters. Also, coins are ne replaced with shards in this island Wublin Island in this island there are Wublins that are stone statues you need all the monster eggs that they need to turn them alive tribal island when you make or join a tribe, you get to choose which monster you want to be. To be, you can only choose a monster that you have. You can feed your monster with coins, food, or shards. Once you and your members re level their monsters up enough their tribe will earn a monster called Kenya Composer Island in this island you don't have to breed monsters because you can use coins you can compose your monsters to make your own song Gold Island. When you leveled up your monsters to f level 15, you can teleport them there. You can put any monster in this island except the ethereal ones. Oh yeah, I also forgot some minor details, so I'm gonna review those. When you when you're leveled up to level twenty, you get the wall box. You have to put all the monsters on your island to activate the wall box. You can get a holiday monster and during the holiday time that it's supposed to be in. Each holiday monster can only be gotten on each of the main islands. Sometimes when you breed a monster, you can get a rare version of the monster's kind. 
Wow, that was a lot of information about this game. I didn't know how much uh, shows in there. There's even more stuff they haven't covered. And I forgot it's other game called My Singing Monsters Down a Fire, which is its sequel game. I guess this is part one, and I'll do, I'll review this, the other game, on part two. To be continued.